My closet is a bottomless pit. over I have some things that I need to get done I've been wanting to get them done they've been on my mind when I try to go to sleep at night I also kind of feel like a brand new woman because I have a brand new wardrobe this video is sponsored by thread up huge thanks to them for supporting me and humongous thanks to you for supporting me when I have sponsored content so I'm really excited to show you some of the things that I found I found a lot I just kept adding to cart and it got out of control. You guys know I've been having a hard time with like my postpartum wardrobe and just having anything to wear. Literally, I had one pair of leggings that fit me. It's sad when your leggings don't even fit, okay? So happy to report, I found a lot of great things, so I'll share that with you in just a minute. And then I plan on kind of decluttering my closet, but not the clothes. I'm not gonna go through the clothes because that I'm gonna give myself like a year and a half to see if maybe the stuff will start fitting by then. <laughs> and if it doesn't, then we'll regroup and circle back to that. But the storage part of my closet, like the top of it, where I just have some random stuff, where I look at and I'm like, I'm never gonna use that. I can't even reach it if I wanted to use it. I should get rid of it kind of thing. So I'm gonna do that. And then I got some storage bins for Meredith's wardrobe because she is currently in the office. Oh my gosh, the addition. <laughs> rolling along we have dirt which might not seem exciting but I feel like it's progress we also have a porta potty that's just solidifying like work is about to get done hopefully so we're excited about that anyway so she's in the office so there's no closet officially so I have a wardrobe for her uh, the bar fell the other day <laughs> Alex just like threw it up real quick so I need to go through that and then uh, her wardrobe has some stuff in there that she doesn't like there's beach towels why I don't know so I did get some bins for that and then oh I totally almost forgot Wentworth's closet I bought bins for that as well so all of those bins are in my trunk <laughs> So <laughs> they've been in there for about a week now. So I should pull those out and get things started one closet at a time. Maybe I'll get to my pantry. Today's Brownie Friday. Maybe I'll share a brownie recipe with you. Maybe not. Maybe it'll be Ghirardelli. I don't know. We'll see what the day brings and how exhausted I am after organizing everyone's closet. So speaking about the fact that I'm not wearing leggings, even though it might look like I am, they're jeans. I know, jeans that fit me, it's a miracle, it's unbelievable. So I got them from Thread Up, which is an online thrift store and consignment store. I love them so much. My closet, I want to say is 99% thrifted, but really over half of it is from Thread Up because I order so much from them. I ordered maternity clothes from them when I was pregnant. Now I'm ordering like a postpartum wardrobe from them, really just a wardrobe because they're clothes that fit my body in the moment and I am loving them. So happy that I finally have clothes that fit. The Thread Up website is amazing. You can search all kinds of brands and deals. They have a ton of high-end clothes on there for a really great price. I always find really great deals when I dig through the website. There is a part of the website that gives me really amazing outfit inspiration because you guys know I need a fashion coordinator. I don't know how to put things together. And there is a spot on the website and the app that you can thrift the look and it's looks that people put together and you can just click and add and it's so simple to use and I used that a lot. And I put together some of my favorite pieces that way. I'm so excited. So these pants are Ann Taylor Law and they're high rise. All of the dimensions are on the website. It's really easy for me to measure myself and then look and see not just the size, but also the measurements that are on there. So that's really helpful, especially since I picked out so many pairs of pants. So these are loft. The estimated retail value is $105, which is crazy pants. And that's the going rate for pants. Crazy pants. 
but I snagged them for 22 bucks and then this top is from Free People. I know, who am I? Women across the room, which we'll get to. Man, I've got so many gems to share with you. It estimates at over $145 retail, but I got it for 38 bucks, which is awesome. It's nice and flowy. Perfect. Let me show you some other pieces. All right, next up, finally, I got some workout clothes. New year, new workout clothes, and I am so happy to have found these. I actually got some Fabletics clothes. These are actually the brand Calia by Carrie Underwood. This top estimated retails for $32, and I got it for $15. The leggings are supreme. They suck in in all the right places. They, the estimated retail value is $48, and I got them for $15. I feel like these are going to get a lot of use. And on ThreadUp, you can search similar items. So if you see something that I have that you like, you can search something that's similar to it that they have on their website, which is one of my favorite features. And the main attraction, you guys, check this top out. The whole outfit is thrifted, of course. The top is from Diane von Furstenberg. What? Yes, that's it. Woman across the room. That's where it originated, you guys. It even has pockets. It is incredible. I just had to have one of her pieces. I'm so excited that I do, but it, the estimated retail value is $177. No stinking way I'm ever going to pay that for a shirt. But I paid $24.14, incredible. The jeans also, um, can we take a moment? They're cropped. They're exactly what I wanted. They're Calvin Klein. <laughs> Estimate retail value on these are $60, but I paid $9.69. Incredible. All right, this last one, love, brand new with tags. This is actually from Old Navy, brand new with tags. It's ridiculous. I find so many things brand new with tags. This is the one where I thrifted the look and I saw this to get, I mean, the way the model was wearing it, it was like all model -y and stuff. But I like the slouchiness of this, the beautiful cardigan. I love the color, the blush color. I mean, where are we going today? ready for a day out on the town. I think this outfit is so sweet, so lovely. I think I'm gonna wear my white Forrest Gump nursing shoes with these. It's gonna be great. And everyone is just gonna love this Cardi. Do I look like the woman across the room? You guys, I have so many more outfits that I wish I could show you right now. Top Gun t-shirt, a turtleneck, a ton more pants. When I tell you I got a whole new wardrobe for a fraction of the cost I would pay anywhere else, I'm not lying. Boxes galore. I'm so excited about it. Check out thread up. See what you can find I'm gonna share some outfits that I put together on Instagram so you can follow me there to see more But if you want to snag some of the deals and shop thread up You can use my link in the description box below and use my code Kimberly to get 35% off of your first order Which is a massive deal considering the prices on the website are already discounted man I just love thrift store shopping, so check them out. I really encourage you to do so. Get yourself something that, like, it's just, you know, when you have something new to wear, it's exciting, at least for me. I'm pumped, so thank you so much to ThreadUp for sponsoring me. And now I have to put all of the clothes away, which may or may not happen, but <laughs> let's head to the closet and uh, start decluttering and getting our lives in order. I feel like that's where I need to begin. Some people start in the kitchen, the heart of the home, but I'm, uh, it's the closet for me. Okay, so welcome to the mess. And I won't even show you the floor. <laughs> Actually, it's not so bad. It just, I have a car seat in here for whatever reason. Leftover Christmas stuff. This is where the baby sleeps. We got a lot going on, okay? Oh, and then I have some returns. I need to return that. I don't know if I'll get to it, but here is the main attraction. This is what we're gonna tackle today. I need to get a box so I can start decluttering. I feel like I can get rid of probably half of this. I say half, but let's aim for like 10%, okay? And then up here, I don't know what the heck is happening up there. I could probably get rid of every, all of that. Don't know what... I don't know what any of that is, and that those are my bathing suits, so I gotta keep, well, even though they don't fit. Yeah, no, I don't, and this part looks nice and organized, even though it's not. We're just not gonna open the bins and keep it, keep the illusion alive. I feel like I need to get a ladder in here. I'm not sure this is going to suffice. Well, let's try, oh, my yoga ball. Oh my gosh, an Easter basket. What is all this? You know what, I have, oh. Oh, the mecca, the stash, you guys. That's what we all wish for when we clean out our closet. Um, do I want this candy? You know, if it was June, I'd say yes. 
but it's January and we've got lofty goals, right? I mean, at least I'll keep a nerd. No one wants a purple nerd. Where are the pink nerds? No pink nerd, so I'm gonna crack the purple open. Bottoms up. I've had worse. I've already got decision fatigue. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, what is this? Oh, a gift, this could be a gift for someone. I think it was meant to be a gift for someone. Well, that didn't work out. Oh, my sewing basket. Remember when I got this sewing basket? I was so stinking excited about it. I'm still excited about it, but I don't use it very often, but I need to keep it because I am a master sewer. Hey, photo albums, want us, let's scroll down memory lane, shall we? Let's find a picture of Kim. Oh my gosh, the fanny packs. Oh, here's a, here's a good one. My sixth birthday. Hey. I gotta keep that, I guess. Oh, my Titanic jacket that I could just never get rid of. I guess I'll hang that up. I just know, as soon as I get rid of this, I'm going to use it. It's got cobwebs on it. I think it's okay if I get rid of it, right? That thing was probably like 50 bucks from the lob. I think that's why it's so hard for me to get rid of it because it was like $50. Even though it was probably half off. I think this is my brother's. I was trying to keep it in a safe spot. And this, gifts, another hard thing to get rid of. This was a Mother's Day gift, I wanna say. And it's a jewelry box. Have we met? I don't wear jewelry. Maybe at one point in my life I tried to. I've got like, you know, the, oh, the, oh those are nice. Those are real nice. Got some cost, costume jewelry in here. Well, cheerleading trophy. But instead of keeping the whole trophy, I guess I just decided to take that off. All right, well, you know what's gonna happen? I'm just go, oh, golly, why are these? I got like a hundred baby bracelets in here. Also a thumb ring, well, who was I? I don't even know. All right, I've got some random earrings in here. Oh, this ring is nice, but I like, I don't wear rings. You know what I mean? You want it? Okay, I'm gonna say goodbye to the woman I once was. <laughs> I will go through it and keep maybe some of the earrings that I might wear, like these. These are pretty cool. If I think I'll wear them, I might put them in right now, as a matter of fact. You can't tell me what to do. I used to think like, oh, these earrings are just too fancy to wear, to wear on a normal average every day. But you know what? Every day is a special occasion. I'm wearing them. Oh, the pinata stick. I would have never known it was up here. Oh no, we're not. Oh yeah, we are. Oh, okay. I feel like I can get rid of everything over there because I have no idea what it is. Oh, the mobile, because I thought I was gonna be that mom with a nice little mm -hmm, crib with the mo. But you know what, should I keep this? Because he will have a crib eventually, hopefully. His room will be done soon. I'm just gonna get rid of it. No mercy. What else is up here? Huh? Why do I have this? I made this for Eleanor when she was born. What do I do with it now? It's a shadow box with an E, her ultrasound, her baby hat. She did have her umbilical cord in there. I don't know where that would have gone, but it's not in here anymore. <laughs> like, I don't need to keep this. Maybe I'll keep the baby hat. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Memories. Oh, cool. Oh, this is stuff from my business from 2016, 2017. Surely I don't need to keep it. Bye. Oh, my passport. We need to renew our passports. Why is this just hanging out in some random box? Oh, because it expired. I'll probably never go through that box. Okay, saving this, this is the main catalyst. I was like, this is taking up a lot of space and I can get rid of it because I know I'm never gonna use it. It's like an, a desk organizer. You put it on top of your desk and you can kind of do this with it and it's adjustable and it kind of worked for when I needed it. But I don't anymore. I got it from Amazon. I'm, I'm gonna get rid of it. <laughs> Ooh, ah, I feel, ooh, ah, real good. Getting rid of a nursing pillow. Because it, it, I hated it. What is this, the boppy? Or no, it's Ergo. Ergo baby nursing pillow. Uh, do not recommend. Oh, it says, um, which may aid in digestion. It supports baby's head above tummy. No, I just thought it was horrible. So my baby pukes a lot if that gives you any indication on if it aids in digestion. All right, last basket here. And then I have to tend to baby for a little bit. Uh, this bag it says Avelina on it. It's personalized. No one will probably buy this if I donate it to the Goodwill, but I'm gonna do that anyway, okay? 
the golden egg. Oh my gosh. Valentine's Day from last year. Guess who just found some conversation hearts that are perfect to give out for this year? I did. Wow. Ooh, strawberry heart-shaped jelly beans? I got it all set up. This is some Easter stuff I forgot about putting out. You guys, I was like, I was barely surviving last year, Easter time. Really? Every day last year I was barely surviving. But you know what? I made it out alive. The golden egg. Can't forget about this this year. This was only six bucks from Target. Look how big it is. What kind of, how much money do we put in this one? Okay, well, let's see what else is in there. Oh, I've got Valentine's Day covered. I've got Easter covered. Guess I never gave the kids these. Perfect. Next up, I have a bin of purses. Oh boy, did I once love this purse with all of my heart. And I still really like it. I like that, you know what? I think I'm gonna keep it as a matter of fact. I once said I had to get rid of everything, okay? Just 10%. I always love the crap that I leave in my purses. Um, I'm gonna keep this one, even though the back is kind of worn. No one sees the back, okay? But I'll tell you something. I will get rid of this one that I never use. Also, this one that I never use. Oh, look, another Easter egg. <gasps> I've been actually looking for these. Hey, now I don't have to buy them. More hair ties? This is genius. I'm so glad I'm doing this. I'm saving so much money. Lanyard? I don't. What is the rest of this stuff? Oh, stuff for my eyeglasses. This is a receipt from 2022 February. Oh, that's when I got my flu shot. Don't think I need proof of that, do I? Hey, this is looking like a good purse. Hopefully someone will like it, because I don't. And then two more purses that I don't use. think this one's empty. Awesome. Should I keep that one? I have to go to the bathroom. Gonna be happy. Hello. Okay, last purse. This one feels pretty full. We've got a diaper and a change of clothes, I guess. What? How old was Meredith when I last wore this? 18 months old. Well, suffice it to say, it has been a while. Ooh, granola bar. <laughs> I wonder if this is still good. I'm gonna be popular. Oh my gosh. August 2022. That's just like the best buy date, you know? It still tastes great. Make sure there's no money in this thing. Oh, mascara. That's probably bad by now. It's been a year and a half. Some chapstick here. Okay, Lovely. Oh, should I keep this one? I don't know. I like it because it's larger. You know what? I'll think on this one. So I got rid of three, kept two. Progress. I think I got rid of more than three. It's a tight squeeze in here, but can you fit? Okay, so. This is a bin of skirts. I mean, ugh, clearly I cannot get rid of this one. This one I bought from maternity and I'm just gonna put it in my maternity bin and donate it. It's a beautiful dress, but it just, it's not gonna fit me, okay? This is okay, I can't, well, these pants, uh, I'll get rid of this and this and this. I like those two things. I'll think on this one. I just, these have pockets, you know? I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it and just think on it. I got rid of half of that, Hey, That's not really the problem. Like the clothes over here, I could go through and whatever, I'm not going to. This, I need to focus my attention on these because these are not working. These bins, they're too small. I don't even really need them in here. They're just like, what's in here? Oh, a scrunchie. Also candy, which I shouldn't be storing in here, but I do, it's like, where else can I sneak away for a snack? If not my closet, where? My kids follow me everywhere. I will say my snack stash is running low. I'm gonna, oh, there's broken glass in here. That's awesome. I'm gonna be popular. And then I have the infamous megaphone. Today's the day. Four score and seven years ago. I don't know why this thing is so fun. Okay, so really all I needed out of this bin was just a little place to keep my treats. This can, I can get rid of mostly because I don't even know what it goes to. And then I have a pump for the yoga ball. I can get rid of this down. And then while we're here, I mean, we might as well take a little snack break. Life is good. More candy. <laughs> I got this as a gift for someone but never gave it to them. I don't know what to do. Hmm, they're pretty. Okay, baby monitor that I didn't end up using. This is, oh, a sound machine. Yes, I've been looking for that. Okay, okay, I'm making progress. 
This is, I mean, you gotta save some things when you're a mom. Crafts from your kids. Does this thing work? I think Alex got this from a garage sale for like three bucks. We need to keep one upstairs for when we have guests over. Okay, this is a diffuser, but it's, is this the one that barely puts anything out? Or is this the one that I don't have an adapter to? Maybe both. Like, should I keep this around or no? <laughs> Alex is good about keeping a, a bin of wires. If you know, you know. If you have one, I'm sure you have one. But I don't know. If he has a wire for that, that'd be great. Oh, a robe. I should probably hang that up. And then a bunch of hosiery and some random clothes. Oh, this is the diffuser that barely squirts out anything. I'm sure someone might love this and the fact that it barely emits steam, but that's not my vibe. I also have a bunch of boxes for my cameras. If I told you how many cameras I've gone through, you'd be like, one of the last bins. And would you believe I bought these bins for like $10 a piece? I don't know what I was thinking. $10 to store a bunch of crap that I don't even want or need. Um, everything in here I'm just gonna get rid of. It's like a picture frame, something to hold a picture frame. I got three of those and another thing. It's just like sayonara. Okay, this is the only one that I have that kind of makes sense. Those are obviously garbage because it houses like my Cricut crafting supplies. I feel like I could put this somewhere else. There's also a belt in there. All right, I've got a bin right here and I think all the crafting supplies, which I need to hone in on my Cricut skills. It hasn't happened yet, but maybe in the future. Oh, look, another pump. See, why, like, why do I need one, let alone two? Ah, it's fine. That's fine. Well, while I'm sitting here staring at these bins that I bought forever ago, I always think back to a time, because you know when you have a Target red card, you have up to 90 days to return something. Those are all, all like a year old, so I'm not returning those. But what I'm thinking of is one time I bought something, and it had been, you know, closer to the 90-day mark, and I went to return it, and the lady taking my return, she was like, oh, this isn't even on the shelf anymore. And I was like, okay, well, like, I guess I don't have to return it, but it was still within the 90 days. And I said, oh, is it gonna be more trouble for you? <laughs> like, we had this back and forth, and she basically was like, yeah, it's gonna be a lot more work for me. And so I kept it. I got interrupted. I don't know what I was saying, but basically I kept the item that I wanted to return because she said it was gonna be extra work for her. And I think about that all the time when I go to return something. And that's why a lot of times I just don't return crap anymore. It all fell. You know, this is the kind of stuff that happens when you're a people pleaser. I'm debating putting these bins back up because if they're empty, I'm just going to fill them up with crap. So I don't know what I'm going to do with these, but they cannot stay in here. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, over here, these are leftover Christmas gifts that I guess I can just like give to someone. Do you want one? Merry Christmas. <laughs> Swear I was thinking about you. I just, um, I, I ended up getting different gifts for people and like, what do I do with these? Now I guess I give them to more people. Ha Happy New Year gift. Happy middle of January. We figured it out. We're going to give them to the, <laughs> the girls schools offices and just drop them off because the elementary school and then the middle school will just say, ha just, enjoy their treats so you know who 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 also happy birthday mom never gave that to you oh i've been actually meaning to do this okay before bed i want to do this tonight well i don't know if i'll be to them tonight but eventually oh my gosh a birthday gift for avelina i totally forgot my closet is a bottomless pit Okay, in here we have some goodies. It kind of smells like cats in here. All right, I'm gonna give this to my cats. This is also a box of donate stuff that I just ended up keeping in my closet. So today's the day. What's in here? You know, it's stuff that I thought I would use for organizing my girls' room, but I, ju I just didn't, so I'm just gonna donate it. Oh my heck, you guys, it is perfect because my local Target, I bought more of these, but they only had two left. So now I have two more. That's exciting, that's for my pantry. I bought these earrings and they came in broken and I never returned them. Think they'll take them back? 
All right, donate, donate, donate. And then I have a basket that's just full of maternity clothes, mostly maternity clothes, so donate as well. I'm gonna go through them. Okay, it may not look like I've made a ton of progress in here, but I have decluttered a ton. This is garbage. And then this box, and all of this is stuff that I am getting rid of, so it's much lighter in there. And so I feel like later today, maybe I'll go in there and organize a little bit. I don't know, I'll show you just later, not right now. If I even end up doing anything. So I have found these in the closet, and so I have four all together, so three, six, nine, 12 of them. I bought some bins for my pantry, some bins for Wentworth's room, bins for Meredith's closet, and then I did snag a couple of pairs of uh, pants and shorts for Meredith because she is growing like a weed. And most exciting, I know you just saw me get rid of two diffusers, but they suck. <laughs> and this one was on clearance for seven bucks. And, oh no, sorry, $8.40, I lie. I lie like a rug. It is so loud outside. Airplanes, wind, I don't know. By the way, yes, we still have the Christmas tree up. It's, we'll get there maybe. So let's get to organizing. All right, here's Meredith's wardrobe and I do need to go through her dresser as well. There are so many clothes that she doesn't wear because they don't fit her. So I'll go to open the drawer when I get her dressed in the morning and I have to sift through and in my head I'm like, she doesn't wear this, 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 this. So I just need to get rid of those clothes so I can just pick out anything. So in here, you can see this bar is falling. Maybe there's just too much on it. Not enough tension. Let's just take it all out. Oh, great, a banana. <laughs> Still good. So the stuff that's hanging in her closet isn't the issue, it's everything else. Like I have this bag. Oh man, see, Eleanor didn't even get to wear her Christmas dress. Meredith for, didn't wear this Christmas dress. The rest of the stuff in here just doesn't belong in here. We've got towels. I don't know where that came from. We can get rid of that. More towels, not sure why. Donate that one. Oh, broken bee wings. More towels. Oh, the bumpers that I bought for her bed but don't work and I couldn't figure out how to actually blow them up. What a waste of money. Maybe someone else can figure it out. Blankets, towel I thought I got rid of a year ago. <laughs> oh, baby blankets. I will probably never use this again. It's like, should I keep that? I don't know, memories and stuff, but like how, how much memories does a baby blanket actually hold? Like, I don't know, none for me. Okay, well, you know what? That feels real good. And I actually think I'm gonna switch it up in here and move the hanger portion down here so she can reach them because oftentimes she picks out her own clothes and she's climbing on this and that can get dangerous. So I'm gonna bring this down. Oh, I knew I needed two hands. Sometimes you just need two hands. All right, I'm just going to, I got that hung up. I'm gonna go through her drawers and then hang everything up that she wears and get rid of the crap that she doesn't and it's gonna feel so much better in here in my mind in my mind is absolutely right. And it did feel better in there. It was nice to get rid of a lot of clothes. And I'm always surprised at how much I'm able to get rid of, especially when the kids are so little because they just grow so quickly and it's hard to keep up, okay? Especially when you have multiple kids, it is really hard to keep up with all of their clothes. Clo oh, clothes is never ending, right? Even my 12 year old, Mom, you know, a cold snap comes in. I don't have any sweaters. I don't have pants. I'm like, what do you mean? You don't have any clothes that fit you? <laughs> so that's always a fun time when the seasons change. Even down here in Florida, seasons don't change much. But if it drops 10 degrees, everyone's pulling out their burkas. Okay? I don't even know if they're called burkas. Parkas? sweaters <laughs> that's, that's about the thickest thing that we have a sweater okay if you saw some ultrasounds found some more ultrasound photos in the drawer i don't know what to do with all of them i found some in my closet they're in the kitchen they're all over the place they're scattered about i should probably collect them and put them in a special place but what i mm, i don't know again sentimental value i'm like what am i gonna do with these make a booklet out of them or something i feel like at this point i've thrown most of them away so I don't know, I've got the special ones. I've got a picture of each of them and I feel like that's all I need. I'm finally going through her wardrobe, second guessing my thought of putting the rod at the bottom because the top of it is so much taller that her dresses don't 
you know, like drag at the bottom, but she can easily access them. And I asked her if she, if I, if she wanted me to put them back up and she said she liked them on the bottom there. So that's how we're going to keep it. I put her pajamas in one of the bins and then some blankets in the other. I don't know. I feel like I can organize that space a little better, but also it's good enough. Okay, I'm done. Her dresser is, I mean, one would say tidy. It's tidy enough. And then her closet, nothing groundbreaking. I put her PJs up there, baby blankets. I don't know what to do with them. And then she can reach all of these, which she's enjoying. And my plan is, I mean, there's a lot of chaos going on. So hold on. This is all donate. This was behind her books and it's just stuff that I've been pulling. So, and I put some stuff up here, but all of these are closed to donate. And then all of this is just other random stuff that I'm donating to. So pretty good piles here. And my plan down the road, really why I bought that was because I thought I would make it like a dress up wardrobe for her, put her like princess dresses in. So I don't know, maybe when she gets her actual room, her bigger room, we'll try to figure some stuff out. I saw a lot of cool stuff on Pinterest where you get like where you make just like a princess station for them I saw some Ikea hacks with it, too. So I don't know that's like down the road in a year Alex said you're just gonna have to do this in a couple months when you move from some like a couple months It's pretty lofty. I don't think they're gonna be done right now Actually someone is here right now testing the dirt. He's like the concrete guy I guess they have to like test the compactness of the dirt to pour the concrete on so Anyway, it's been raining, so it's not a great day anyway to do it. Delays, delays, always. Which is fine, it's what I, what we thought initially. It'll happen eventually, that's all we can say, but the, I'm happy about that. Her room needs a lot of help because there's now there's crap everywhere. It gets worse before it gets better, whatever. All right, moving on to Wentworth's closet. I did buy some baskets for him too. He has this shelf which I thought these baskets were gonna fit, but now maybe I bought the bins for the, for here. I don't know. He has a shelf, I normally put his shoes in, but then I found these baskets also don't mind. Like, ugh, I've been telling him like, oh, don't worry about putting all your clothes away uh, because I have to go through them. <laughs> he puts on clothes in the morning, I'm like, those don't fit you, please go change. <laughs> He's like, they fit me. So we're gonna have to deal with that. Yeah, these baskets don't fit the way that I thought that they would. Oh, okay, well, we'll figure it out. I need to do a lot of uh, just stuff in here. It's just not working. Um, he has a massive closet, but not forever because when the addition is done, his closet will be cut in half. And then the other half of the closet, there'll, there'll be a wall right here. So half will be Wentworth's and then the other half will be Wolfgang's. So it's perfect, um, but he does, he will lose a lot of space. So I guess I'm rambling because I'm trying to put off the fact that I need to tidy up in here and go, go through his clothes. He just left with Alex to go to uh, somewhere. So I'm just gonna go through his clothes, check the tags, and if they don't fit him, I'm saying sayonara because it is time. And then we went through his shoes the other day and I wanted to put his shoes in here, but for now they're over there. So I just, I have a lot to figure out. Let's do it. It won't be perfect, but it will be good enough. I hope. I guess I should give you an overview of what we're working with. So his dresser, it's just exploding right now because I, I said the, I lined up some pants <laughs> at the beginning of the week. I said, these pants fit you. Pick from these for now until I have time to go through them. These are clean. This stuff, I don't ask me. I don't think any of this belongs to him. This is where I'll probably put his shoes. These fit him. He's got his laundry basket, randomness, sweaters up here that he can't. All right, well, my battery died, <laughs> so apparently didn't catch the end of my sentence, but he has sweaters up there that he, you know, he has his sweaters and jackets that he prefers, and then I have my sweaters and jackets that I prefer him to wear, <laughs> so he has an abundance of those, but the focus today was mostly his pants, and he had some shirts in there. He had a 2T shirt. What? Also, why and how? I don't know how that trickled down and made it year after year in his closet, but it did. And then he had a lot of like 4T pants and even some of the 5T pants. 
don't fit him. Like, I don't know if he grew a few inches. Oh, I normally measure them all at the top of the year, and I have yet to do that. So remind me to do that. They all have, uh, well, I measure them all on like one place. I don't want to call it a ribbon. I don't know what it's called. It's like this fabric measuring thing. And I just mark off how tall they are. And last year when I did it for Wentworth, he was taller than the girls were like two years older than him. I don't know how to say that, (laughs) but he's tall for his age. Again, he's a boy too. So I guess he's going to be taller than the girls, but don't they mature later? I don't know. All I know is he was taller than the girls were at his age, but also a year older than him. Uh, I'm confusing myself now. Anyway, so I need to measure them and see. It's fun to see how much they've grown in just one year. It's crazy. Kids grow so fast. I haven't grown a single centimeter probably 10 years. (laughs) 10 years. Alex even grew, I think, in his 20s. He grew like half an inch or something. I don't know. Maybe if I start doing yoga, it'll stretch me out a little bit and I'll grow too. Anyway, so I'm moving down to these bins, finally getting rid of these green ones that I got from the Dollar Tree years and years ago. And the quality, you know, right out the gate isn't great. Obviously, they're a dollar, so it works. But the even the fabric totes at, you know, from Target are a lot sturdier, even though they're fabric and not the best. Um, speaking of, these big ones are from Target and they've lasted a few years and I've overfilled them. So I think that's why one of them was broken. But other than that, pretty decent quality. And I'm surprised at how much I got rid of. That puzzle in the bag is missing pieces, but also it's the cover artwork for Ariel, the Little Mermaid. You know, like the original one. So I don't know why I'm hanging on to that. I've had that since my childhood. Uh, We have put it together a few times. Okay, making progress up here, realizing that I'm not very sentimental about clothes at all, baby clothes. I just like purged all of them. This is something Avelina wore, which is my oldest. She wore it her first Christmas. Uh, I don't know if anyone wore it after that, but I like saved it and saved it and saved it. This stuff, Christmas clothes, I mean, no one's ever gonna fit in it again. I love these. But um, yeah, it's like, why, why am I keeping baby blankets and like baby's first Christmas? Way? I just, for me, I'm like, it, I don't know. Maybe I'll regret it. Maybe I won't because it's been in these bins and I haven't thought about it. So I'm getting rid of all of this. There are clothes under here that, um, you know, the kids have grown out of too. So that's all going. I did keep a couple of things. Someone made this for Wentworth and it's big enough that it will fit Wolfgang. And then also there's a beanie in here too. Someone made this for me and I just think it's so darling and this will definitely fit Wolfgang too. So I'm going to keep on a hold of that and I love them making progress over here with the books. And then he has a ton more books on his bedside table that I'll go through eventually that maybe we'll put in here. I put his toys here. I left some spaces for his shoes. We'll see if that system works. But overall, the progress I'm making, I'm pretty happy about it. Like that, I'm getting rid of a lot more than I initially thought I would in here. Granted, most of it is not his, but it was still in here. So good to see it go. And now I'm looking at this. Okay, there's a story behind this, isn't there always? So this is his nap time blanket. He only had it one year, and um, every year prior to that, they were required to have like the the ones that you throw away, like the ones that basically get ruined after a year, the foldable ones. And this one is nice quality, and I, growing up, I had one like that, that I think got passed down from my sister to me, and then we kept it forever. And then after a while, you're like, well, why, <laughs> why am I even keeping this nap time blanket? I'm 20 years old, you know what I mean? So I think eventually we got rid of it. But keeping that it doesn't make any sense because I don't think Meredith is going to want dinosaurs. I can just buy her one that she would prefer when she goes to pre-K 3 and pre-K 4 and has nap time because they don't have nap time in kindergarten, which is what he's in now. So there, I don't really have a use for that because I was about to put it in the bin and I thought I probably shouldn't, right? Oh my gosh, I even almost forgot about this. The same like keepsake that I made Eleanor, I also was crazy and made one for Wentworth and I, his umbilical cord is in here. I'm not sure if this one opens the same way. I don't think it does. Also his lock of hair, his first haircut, his lock of hair is in there. 
his beanie that he wore when he was a newborn, his bracelet, an ultrasound photo. So, I, like, what am I gonna do with this? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, man. I guess I'll just keep it. There's plenty of space, right? And that's how hoarding begins. All right, it looks a little better in here, mostly because it's cleared off. A lot has cleared off up there. I feel like I can breathe. I didn't touch anything up there, mostly because I can't reach it. And it's like overflow gifts from his birthday. <laughs> He's like trying to get through in Christmas. And then down here is what we mainly worked on, it, just the baskets and probably for excess books. There's a ton by his bedside table. It's out of control, but for another day. And then I just showed him where all of his toys go. And he said, instead of putting his shoes there, he likes that they're, oh, more clothes, yay. <laughs> he likes that they're uh, here so he can easily access them. So we'll see if that works out. But anyway, that feels fresh, it feels nice. And uh, it's good to have more sturdy bins. And this is what we're getting rid of, that too. This is garbage, and then this is all donate. And speaking of donate, this is everything we're purging today. Everything that I gathered from my closet, Meredith's, and Wentworth's. Don't ask me to go through my other two kids' rooms. I just don't have the energy. But I think we're making progress, small progress. This is actually a lot of stuff to get out of the house and feels pretty good. I thought I'd share with you what we had for dinner that night. It was just super simple, easy. I had leftover uh, spaghetti meat or spaghetti sauce with the meat like already made in the fridge so we just pulled that out alex cooked up some noodles and what else did he cook up oh a salad he well he tried to do a salad but we're bottom of the barrel here with vegetables so i need to run to the store even though i feel like i just did um but i did have this spaghetti squash which i love to put in with my spaghetti i just um, I don't replace the spaghetti, but I just eat less of the spaghetti noodles when I use the spaghetti squash mm, and it tastes delicious. It's one of my favorites. It's been a while since I've had it, so I need to buy them more often, but it's just really simple. I cut it in half, throw it in the microwave upside down and, uh, I don't know, I cook it for like 15 minutes while I'm talking about eating healthy, also balance because that bag of sugar, right? We're making brownies. It's brownie Friday. And this is my favorite brownie frosting. It's one stick of butter. Oh, a half a cup or so of cocoa, one third cup of milk. It's supposed to be heavy cream. And then three cups of powdered sugar. Mix that together and it makes the world's best brownie frosting. It is so delicious. Ghirardelli brownies are my absolute favorite, but we ended up making like what whatever we had in the pantry i think it was like king arthur's gluten-free dairy-free kind of thing and those were good too is that it's actually some of alex's favorites so we made that and they were so good eleanor was my big helper she is always good at baking stuff in the kitchen and i'm just spreading on the frosting and making our night magical and then i like to serve mine with strawberries i think it really brings out the flavor without having to do too much effort like making chocolate covered strawberries is just a lot but also something that i'm craving probably because it's almost valentine's day but this would be just as good to have on valentine's day because it's so dang good strawberries brownies i like my ratio to be i don't know a lot of strawberries and a lot of brownie <laughs> like that the brownie is just like the crusty bits on the side and also it's on top, there's strawberries. So I guess that's it. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me while I went around and decluttered some stuff out of the closets today. Don't forget to check out Thread Up. You can use my code Kimberly to get 35% off of your first order. I ho happy thrifting, okay? I'm feeling good about this outfit. I'm actually going to a baby shower later today and I have a thrifted outfit for that too, so excited to wear it. I'll see you next time, bye.